hi to everyone who are watching me right now myself miss nithi parana and today we are here to do standard 10 1.3 chapter on wings of courage this is really interesting chapter you will love it so stay tuned with me till the end of this video 1.1 and 1.2 of standard 10th english is already uploaded on the channel the link for the same i'll mention it in the description box also so you can easily go through it and start with your standard 10 studies let's move ahead and see what this chapter is all about and you will also understand why this chapter is named to be as wings of courage yeah so this chapter is completely about marshal arjun Singh the first and the only officer of Indian Air Force to be promoted to five star ranking as marshal of Indian Air Force he was born on 15th April 1919 and we lost the marshal on 16th September 2017 he is the one the courageous the courageous marshal who have seen Indian Air Force growing from its roots to the place where it is today so it will be really great to see all the deeds and all the promotions which are Arjun Singh has got before he became a marshal so let's see his contribution into the Indian Air Force and what all things that he have done how the wings of courage is justified to the name of Arjun Singh let's move ahead without wasting any further time so air office air force marshal arjun singh an icon of india's military history will always be remembered as a war hero who had successfully led a young iaf iaf is indian air force during the 1965 indo pak war okay so air of air force marshal arjun singh he is a icon for india's military history he is the one who have successfully led all the young indian air force during the 1965 indo pak war He is the only officer to attend the highest post of marshal. The air force equivalent to army's five star field marshal, like an army, as we have the field marshal for the five star ranking. Similarly, in the air force, we have the highest post of marshal. Singh was fearless and exceptional pilot who had flown more than sixty different types of aircraft. So, if the question comes in the uh, exam that um, Arjun Singh had fl uh, flown how many different type of aircraft? It's sixty different types of aircraft. Kindly mark it up, students. He played a major role in transforming the Indian Air Force into one of the most potent air forces globally and fourth biggest in the world. Yes, Indian Air Force is the fourth fourth biggest air force in the world. His contribution to Indian Air Force is monumental. Monumental means very important. to the least the indian air force grew with him he was the epitome epitome means students he is a great example of military leadership in classical sense and it is therefore not surprising that he was honored with the rank of air force marshal former vice chief of iaf kapil kak said former means the previous one all right so these were the words by uh, vice chief of iaf kapil kak Singh was honored with the rank of marshal on Republic Day in the year 2002. Sam Hormuz Ji, Ram Ji, Jamshed Ji, Manik Shah, and K M Kariyappa were the only two army generals honored with the rank of field marshal. So, when was Arjun Singh honored with the rank of marshal? On 26 January 2002, or simply you can say on Republic Day in the year 2002. Other than that, there were two army generals also who have received the rank of a uh, field marshal. They were Sam Hormuz Ji, Frem Ji, Jamshed Ji, Manik Shah, and K M Kariyappa. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, they were the two field marshals, known as a man of few words. Singh was not only a fearless pilot but also a profound knowledge. He had a great knowledge about the air power. He also applied it into the various spectrum in various strata of areas. Singh has assiduously led the IAF during nineteen sixty five war. Assiduously means he worked hard. He looked after all the details. He carefully attended uh, the young uh, IAF members during nineteen. 1965 war and denied success to Pakistani air force though it was better equipped with american support still we did not let the pakistani air force win his most outstanding contribution was during that time said the former 
वाइस चीफ ऑफ आई एफ दैट इज कपिल कक कमेंडिंग हिज रोल कमेंडिंग मीन्स प्रेजिंग हिज रोल इन द वॉर सो वाई बी चवान हु वॉज दिन डिफेंस मिनिस्टर ही हैज ऑल्सो रिटर्न समथिंग अबाउट अर्जन सिंह ही सेड दैट ए मार्शल अर्जन सिंह इज अ ज्वेल ऑफ अ पर्सन या यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू फाइंड सच पर्सन अ केयर ही इज क्वाइट अफिशियंट इन टू हिज वर्क ही इज अ वेरी फर्म ही इज अन एक्साइटेबल पर्सन या मैं जीत गया या एक वॉर विन होने के बाद ही विल बी वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट नो ही इज नॉट दैट वे ही इज नॉट ईजी टू बी प्लीज पर्सन ही इज वेरी एबल लीड leader yeah moving ahead if you have still not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe it if you have any question relating to any of the chapter you can post it into the comment box i would be really happy to help you up so moving ahead in 1944 the marshal had led a squadron a squadron kya hota hai a group of people having the same mission i think all my pubg players must be knowing what the squad means right so uh, marshal had led a squadron against the japanese during the arakan campaign flying close air support missions during the crucial means important imphal camping that is towards the northeast side and later assisted the advance of allied forces to yangon now yangon was previously known to be as rangoon and this yangon if you don't know let me tell you it's a city in myanmar which was previously known to be as a burma okay which was once upon a time a part of india only but later we gifted it up In recognition of his feat he was awarded the distinguished flying cross DFC now let me tell you students what is this DFC DFC is nothing but a, a award which is given to that courageous person who have showed heroism or extraordinary achievement while the person have um, uh, you know participated in the aerial fight so this award is given to them now from this chapter in the exam you can also be asked about the uh, gift full form of so if dfc comes or iaf comes i hope you know what is the full form of that dfc stands for distinguished flying cross right on the spot by the supreme allied commander of south east asia the first indian pilot to have received it saying was selected for the empire pilot training course at raf now raf is royal air force cranville in 1938 at that time he was just 19 years old he retired from the service in 1969 as i said arjun singh was born on 15th april 1919 in lialpur which is now a part of uh, pakistan Fe um, faisalabad He completed his education at Montgomery which is now again a part of Pakistan now Sahiwal His first assignment on being commissioned was to fly Westland Wapiti biplanes Now if you are wondering what is it uh, Wapiti biplanes you might have seen Tom and Jerry shows yeah in that you might have came across such planes which have wings and there is one more wing before uh, about it so two wings and that's what the uh, Wapiti biplanes means you can see it on the screen also for the better understanding In the northwestern frontier province, as a member of number one RIAF squadron, after a brief stint with the newly formed number two RIAF squadron, where Marshall flew against the tribal forces. Now, what is RIAF squadron? RIAF stands for Royal Indian Air Force. Okay, so he was uh, uh, placed into uh, number two RIAF squadron, where the Marshall flew against the tribal forces. and he later moved back again to number 1 squadron as a flying officer to fly the hawker hurricane he was promoted to the rank of squadron leader in 1944 so you can see how much he have um, you know he have um, uh, control over his performance yes starting as a uh, getting a award of distinguished flying cross then um, uh, getting a chance or uh, getting selected for the empire pilot training course at raf at just 19 years age in the year 1938 and then later on being a part of you know raf and uh, uh, squadron 2 of raf and finally being a flying officer to fly the hawker hurricane now hawker hurricane is a kind of a plane you know which is pointed uh, Um, at the um, at the start part, a pointed part of the airplane. Ka, that that's how the Hawker Hurricane plane looks. So he was promoted to the rank of squadron leader in the year 1944. For for his role in successfully leading the squadron in combat, he was awarded DFC as I told you before in the year 1944. On 15th August 1947. I hope you remember that's our Independence Day, fifteenth August, nineteen forty-seven. He has achieved a unique honor of leading a 
fly past of over 100 IAF aircraft over Red Fort in Delhi. Now also, I hope if you have ever on the television, especially DD channels on, uh, uh, you know, 15th August, you might have seen that how the parade and uh, various uh, showcase of all our military things and different culture has been showcased yeah, at Red Fort correct in a parade so similarly this was first started on the day when we got the independence and uh, Marshal Arjun Singh was given the chance of uh, honor to lead 100 IAF aircraft over the red fort um, which is at New Delhi after his promotion to the rank of wing commander now wing commander you might have heard Abhinandan wing commander Abhinandan yeah uh, during the India Park uh, clashes which were happening and uh, Wing Commander Abhinandan's plane was crashed at Pakistan but he was brought back safely, right? So, similarly, uh, Wing Commander is a post uh, in the Indian Air Force. He was uh, ranked as a Wing Commander. He attended the Royal Staff College at the UK. Immediately after India's independence, he was commanded Ambala in the rank of Group Captain. In 1949, he was promoted to the rank of Air Commodore and took over as Air Officer Commanding AOC. So, what the full form of uh, DFC? Distinguished Flying Cross. RAF stands for Royal Air Force. RIAF stands for Royal Indian Air Force. Right? AOC stands for Air Officer Commanding of Operational Command, which later came to be known as Western Air Command. Okay, but the thing is not stopping here. Singh had the distinction of having the longest tenure as AOC, Air Officer Commanding of an operational base from 1949 to 1952. Then again, he served in the year 1957 to 1961. After his promotion to the rank of Air Vice Marshal, he was appointed. He was appointed as AOC in C of an operational command. AOC in C. Yeah, uh, Air Officer in Command in Chief, Air Officer Commanding in Chief. Okay, so towards the end of 1962 war, he was appointed as a Deputy Chief of Air Staff and he became the Vice Chief of the Air Staff in the year 1963. He was the overall commander of Joint Air Training Exercise Shiksha, which was held between IAF and RAF, followed by RAAF, which is the Australian Air Force, Indian Air Force and UK-based Air Force. On 1st August 1964, in the rank of Air Marshal, the Marshal of Air Force, Arjun Singh, took over the reins of IAF. Reins of IAF control over the IAF. At that time, IAF was still building itself up and obviously when anything which is new, you will face a lot many ch challenges and that was something which Arjun Singh had to face in the beginning of IAF. Singh was the first air chief to keep his flying currency till his CS rank. Having flown over 60 different types of aircraft from pre-World War II era, biplanes to many contemporary Nats and Vampires, this is how Nats and Vampires look, they are the fighter planes. He has also flown in transport aircraft like Super Constellation, which is like in war, people use to transport Like you might have seen during Afghanistan and Taliban crash, all the Indians were picked up through it. Then Ukraine and Russia war, even uh, Indians were picked up through. So this constellation... Uh, planes are transport planes even uh, when there is a war and you need to um, you know transport the ammunition with the help of this it's been done okay so in 1965 when Pakistan launched its operation Grand Slam with an armor thrust targeted at the vital town of Aknur and Singh led IAF through the war with courage, lot of determination and professional skill. Yeah, he was a perfect leader. He inspired IAF to victory despite the constraints imposed on full-scale use of Air Force combat power. You, uh, constraints are nothing but the restrictions. So, in spite of so many restrictions, he made sure that India get its victory. Singh was awarded Padma Vibhushan. We have three main awards in our country, Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan. So, uh, Marshal Arjun Singh was awarded Padma Vibhushan for all his leadership uh, of the Air Force during the war and his contribution during the war. The rank of CS was upgraded and now Arjun Singh became the first Air Chief Marshal of Indian Air Force. Yes, you heard it right, the highest post. He remained a flyer to the end of his tenure in IAF. He loved flying and he remained the same till the end. Yeah. 
visiting forward bases and units, flying with a squadron. This was something he loved doing it. He retired in August 1969. But after retirement also, was he actually retired? No. He accepted the ambassadorship to Switzerland. We have Indian embassies at other countries, right? So he uh, accepted the ambassadorship at Switzerland and he was placed there. He was lieutenant governor of Delhi from December 1989 to December 1990. Having been a source of inspiration to all the personnel of armed forces through the years, government had ranked Marshal of the Air Force upon Arjun Singh in January 2002. So in January 2002, 26 January 2002 to be very precise, he got the uh, position of a Marshal, making him the first and the only five-star rank officer with Indian Air Force. Unfortunately, we lost Marshal Arjun Singh on 16th September 2017. With this, we come to an end of the chapter. I hope you loved the video. I hope you liked the explanation. You understood it well. If yes, then do try to answer the question of the day. That is, what important positions did Arjun Singh hold after his retirement? You can answer it in the comment box below. I would be really happy to see uh, your answers. Other than that, do subscribe, like and share with all your classmates. Yeah, there are other videos also posted on it. And soon we are going to start with the live lectures. So thank you once again for watching it up. If you have any question, I would be really happy to answer you up. So post it in the chat box uh, and see you guys soon. Till then, take care. Bye.